Hello everyone and welcome to my Fighters Pass 2 prediction. So, now that we only have four characters remaining, I figured I would go ahead and give my thoughts on what we might see as the remaining four fighters. So, with a little bit of personal bias, I came up with four characters that I think have a pretty decent shot of making it into the game. And after the success of the last uh, predictions video that I made, hopefully this one turns out just as good. Or not. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. So in the past, I have dabbled with creating my own uh, custom Smash rosters with characters that I'd like to see in the game either this time or eventually. Uh, most of my predictions or wants are a little out there considering uh, the franchises they're in or the franchises that already have that many reps or Yeah, you get what I mean. I am a big fan of RPGs So don't be surprised if you see a little bit of bias towards that kind of franchise here, but these are the These are some characters that I feel like have a pretty decent shot and I have a good bit of knowledge as to why and what they bring with them So to start it off, I think uh, revealed at the game awards I think we would get someone, uh, so which would be two days after this upload. I think it could be Gino, uh, just because Gino is one of the most popular characters for Smash ever. Uh, the original like triangle of characters to get in uh, were King K. Rule, uh, what was it? King K. Rule, Banjo and Kazooie, and Gino. We've gotten two of them, unfortunately. Uh, one of them was not Gino, but. I think he could bring a lot with him. Um, based on the gameplay that we've seen from Project M, I think the character has a lot of potential and I would love to see the music it would bring with him because I think the Mario RPG music is very good. Um, obviously his stage would be the forest maze um, and aside from that, I don't really think there's anything else to be said that hasn't been said by others already considering, again, this is one of the most popular characters for Smash and I feel like Ultimate has done a pretty good job of pleasing the fans up until this point. So I think Gino has a pretty good shot at getting in. Next up, I would say Rex and Pyra. They literally have no fucking reason not to be in this damn game. The only argument I've ever seen against them is that Rex has a me costume, which I think is ridiculous because Min Min got in and Min Min had a spirit, which, you know, had like things literally designed, you know, like the spirits, people considered spirits to deconfirm characters for a while. And now that spirits don't deconfirm, for sure, we know that because Min Min got in the game, now people are just fighting that assist trophies deconfirm, which I partially agree with. I think assist trophies have a lot more effort into them than both me costumes and spirits. So I think that assist trophies are most likely off the table, but I wouldn't be opposed to certain assist trophies getting character slots like Lin or Shovel Knight, uh, etc. So Rex and Pyra would definitely bring along some banger ass tracks. Um, the fact that uh, I think it's incoming didn't get added into Ultimate, I think that is disgusting what the hell is wrong with you nintendo what the fuck like you had one job um the, the stage would probably be the world tree or more ordain um personally i'd probably root for the world tree just because of the more aesthetic look but i think more ordain would also be a really cool stage um this character really has no fucking reason not to be in the game especially after byleth and min min um don't get me wrong i'm a bit i main byleth and i'm a big fan of the character and i'm glad they got in Mimin not so much, but um, after those two characters, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that this character is not in the game yet, and I'm going to be genuinely shocked if they don't get in this Fighter's Pass. I'm also going to be very sad. Very, very sad. Next up is a Square Enix rep. Another one, after Hero. Yeah, we know Square Enix loves sharing their characters and music so much, uh, but I think this character has a chance. You know, they're from a pretty popular RPG series, um, with, you know, more action-based combat, and, you know, I think I know, I think you guys know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. Neku Sakuraba from The World Ends With You. I just can't see Sora getting in with the whole Disney conflict. I know a lot of people want him, and I personally don't. I have very little interest in seeing Sora in Smash, but Neku is from one of my favorite games of all time, and I think Neku actually has a pretty decent shot, considering we are finally getting a new game for his franchise after, I think it'll release 14 years after the original game, if it comes out in 2021. And we're getting an anime in the same year. Like, The World Ends With You is coming back. 
it, it slumbered in mobile device hell for a little while and got a switch port which was admittedly okay and yeah now we're getting a brand new game on ps4 and switch and an anime in the same year after i think uh, the one of the final remix came out in 2018 so yeah i could see neku getting in the game considering everything that's coming in the coming years um shibuya would probably be his stage just somewhere in shibuya uh i think a like japanese aesthetic would be uh like you know the, the tokyo buildings and such um i think that would look really cool in the smash art style and especially if they do like a bunch of neon lights and stuff i think that would look great i'd love to see the 104 building in the background that would just ooh, that would make my day but yeah um lastly i think to end off the fighters pass it has to be crash bandicoot it can't be anyone other than crash bandicoot crash is like the one character that I'm like, how are you not in this game? Like you, you need to be here. I'm not a huge Crash fan myself. I have only played a few of the games and they're okay. They're not my favorite. They're very difficult at some points and a little frustrating, but this character deserves to be in Smash probably more than anyone else at this point. Uh, we have Mario, Sonic, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Banjo, like Crash is right there. <laughs> It's so easy, and I feel like with all the Crash support that's been happening in the last couple years, same thing with Neku, um, Crash has had a remake of his original three games. He's had uh, a remake of CTR, a brand new game, uh, Crash 4, which is in the essence of the original games in the series. Crash is coming back, whether you like it or not, and Crash honestly, is going to be in this fighter's past i cannot see them not adding crash after steve especially like they are going all in this past they gave us min min first and they were like yeah tamper your expectations and then they dropped steve and then everyone was like holy shit so yeah uh his stage would most likely be somewhere on insanity beach probably just like insanity beach in general um i can't see them picking out any like exclusive location unless it's from crash 4 i haven't played crash 4 yet so i don't know any of the locations or anything like that but at this point, I think Crash is locked. As much as I want to say I'm locked on these other characters too, I think the most likely one is Crash, followed by Geno, then Rex and Pyra, then Neku. Um, Rex and Pyra would probably be at the top of my list if they didn't have that meat costume in the game. Um, and I, like I said, I don't believe that uh, de deconfirms them, but I think it lessens their chances, which is unfortunate. But... Yeah, that is uh, my predictions. Again, these are not my but these are not only my personal ones. I do have a lot of other characters that are a little less likely. Uh, for example, Cat from Gravity Rush, um, Shantae, uh, Lin or Celica. Yeah, I know more Fire Emblem characters. That's what everybody wants. That's what I want. Uh, <laughs> I could see I'd be very happy with Sephiroth or uh, T uh, Tifa from Fire Final Fantasy VII. That would be sick. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I made like a couple Smash roster things that I just got bored and I was like, hey, let's cut characters I don't like and add characters I do like and uh, make a cool looking Smash roster. So here's that. You can pause if you want. And yeah, that is uh, that is my predictions for the rest of Fighters Pass 2. Uh, do I think we'll be getting another Fighters Pass? No, I think this is it. I think after this Fighters Pass, we are done with Ultimate, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna be sad to see it stop getting support, especially because I doubt we'll be getting a Smash game as large as this after this game. I would not be totally shocked if they went back to the drawing board, had a roster of like 30 characters, but gave them all entirely new movesets, like completely new. I wouldn't be totally shocked if they did that. Um, I'd be a little upset, not upset, but disappointed that we'd be losing the chance to have some of these dream matchups, like, say in the new game, Cloud's not there. If they ever cut characters, Cloud's gonna be one of them, for sure. Absolutely, Cloud is gone in an instant. Not even because they want to, just because Square is Square. So, yeah, Cloud will be gone instantly. Um, yeah, I think Cloud would not, like, any new characters they would add, it's like, well, that sucks, because Cloud can't fight, blah, 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 you know? But I wouldn't be totally surprised, and I wouldn't be too devastated considering we'd be getting entirely new movesets. 
But this is probably the last very large Smash game like this, that one that we're gonna get, unless they do an expansion or something and like a sequel somehow. Like they just take the game, they port it over and add new characters, which I doubt they will do. I very much doubt that's gonna happen, but who knows? Anyways, that's it for my predictions. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'm sorry that I stutter like a little bitch, and I will see you all. Have a nice day. Peace.